The objective of this video is to introduce Cogito. Cogito is Expert System Semantic Intelligence Platform. It is a technology that takes an input any kind of text in any kind of format and performs on this text a deep linguistic analysis going through all the different steps of linguistic analysis up to the semantic analysis, which means to understand the meaning of word based on context. The outcome of this analysis is a conceptual map, basically a structured representation of the content, which is then used to uh, run a different kind of applications, from semantic search to automatic categorization to competitive intelligence platform to natural language interfaces to enable a very effective and fast and precise uh, automatic management of unstructured information. In order to understand the unique features of Cogito, let's run uh, some uh, analysis on sample sentences using an interface on the actual engine. If I write uh, the sentence here, the seat of my lousy Chevy are actually great. The system, because it has a deep understanding of the uh, language, is able to understand that this in sentence, basically, there is a direct relationship that links the seats with great. So the system understands from the analysis of the sentence that what is actually great are the seat, and what is actually lousy is my Chevy. So the first feature of uh, Cogito semantic um, technology is to understand the relationship between uh, different uh, concepts in a sentence. The second important feature of Cogito is instead its capability to perform full disambiguation. For example, if I write this sentence, the Jaguar eats meat, I'm able to understand, based on the context, that Jaguar in this case is the panther, the animal, eats means to eat with mouth, and meat is the actual meat. So the system, based on the context, is able to understand the jaguar in this case and, and perform a full disambiguation on the content. If I make a change and I write something like the jaguar eats gas, the system is able to understand that in this case Jaguar, in reality, is referred to a luxury car. That eat, in this case, is referred to consume, and gas, of course, is referred to gasoline. So the second very important feature of Cogito is its capability to perform full disambiguation. If I add something like this to this sentence, the system is not only able to understand, as we saw before, the Jaguar means a luxury car and gas means gasoline, but is able also to understand that in this case gas has a different meaning even if it's used in the same sentence. So the deep understanding of the language embedded in, uh, in Cogito enable this kind of uh, feature which are at the basis of a much more precise automatic management of uh, any text. In order to better understand why Cogito can provide such a high level of precision in disambiguation and such a high speed of analysis, it is important to understand that together with the semantic engine, Cogito comes out of the box also with a very rich representation of the English language, which is our semantic net. If I click on the word gas, I open up a window on, the, on the, our semantic web. In the window, you can take a look in the, in the center and you see that uh, in the center are represented all the different meaning of the word gas. If we choose the one that was selected, highlighted in blue, you see that uh, this concept uh, with this specific meaning is linked to other concepts in the English language with different kind of relationship. Basically, this is the kind of knowledge that we have and we build over time when we learn about uh, uh, reading, about uh, the different uh, terminology that we use in our speech. Here you see one of the relationships, which is the kind of. Gasoline is a kind of hydrocarbon, which is a kind of fuel. On the right, you see all the different kinds of gasoline. But this is only one of the several different relationships present. For example, you have the verb subject. Gasoline with this uh, uh, meaning is a subject of all these different uh, um, verbs. If you change the meaning, of course, all the different meaning, the, uh, the, uh, the, the specific meaning can be subject of significantly change. 
and then you can see also if you do the verb object different kind of relationship with this meaning gas can have uh, this uh, different uh, noun uh, th can be the object of these different verbs and if uh, you change meaning you change the verbs and so forth the uh, cogito semantic net uh, contains more than 350,000 concepts and more than 1.5 million links